They had six uh, up until uh, the end of the last parliament, and now they've got 89, would you believe? And uh, they are considered a huge threat to uh, Emmanuel Macron's administration now, as are the Nukes Alliance. But something I can tell you straight away, Nigel, is that the Nukes Alliance, which is this left-wing alliance under Jean-Luc Mélenchon, is already falling apart. Yeah. Uh, they are set to meet uh, Emmanuel Macron at the Elysee Palace tomorrow, along, I have to say, with Marine Le Pen. And the idea was that uh, uh, Macron would say, look, we can all work together, we can all do something, please support me. But uh, as you'd imagine, with uh, an alliance of communists, socialists, ecologists, and other radicals, you're not going to get much consensus. So this idea that you're going to have this great opposition uh, working against uh, Macron in a unified way, as far as the left is concerned, probably isn't going to happen. No, and they'd never, and they'd never ever work with Marine Le Pen, and we know that. I saw that in my years in the European Parliament. The really fascinating thing is that for the last 30 years or so, France has had the first past the post electoral system for the Assembly, and yet the results produced last night look a lot more like proportional representation. Just give British viewers a sense of the sheer collapse of the traditional. Socialist Labour Party in France and indeed the Conservatives? Well, there's two factors there. The number one factor, I would say, is your latter point there, Nigel. It's the collapse of the Gaullist Conservatives. The traditional party of government here in France, the Fifth Republic, was set up by Charles de Gaulle, and uh, he envisaged uh, a party in his name, really ruling France uh, for, for, from then onwards. And uh, that has effectively collapsed in sleaze. The last um, uh, president of the Gaullists was Nicolas Sarkozy. He's a twice convicted criminal now, subject to appeal for corruption charges. Uh, ditto um, uh, his prime minister as well. Um, so they are in all kinds of, Francois Fillon that is, they're in all kinds of uh, problems. Their vote has completely collapsed. And then of course you've got the socialists as well. Uh, the great, uh, I say great, simply because they, they were presidents, not because they were particularly great in themselves. But uh, François Mitterrand, of course, still revered here, but his was a disastrous presidency in the 1980s. And of course, Mitterrand was the last president before Macron to work with a hostile parliament. They had a system there called cohabitation, where he had to work with a prime minister who was ideologically opposed to him. Macron has, a, uh, has, has avoided that for the moment. There was some talk of Mélenchon becoming his prime minister. That's not happening for the moment. Anything is possible in the future. But a uh, terrible state. But as I say, I, I would say the number one point there is the collapse of the Gaullist Conservatives. Yes, the socialists have collapsed. François Hollande was a terrible president um, before uh, Macron, and his party hasn't done very, very well at all since then. But getting rid of the Gaullists, that's allowed uh, the far right, uh, uh, Marine Le Pen's party, to do very, very well indeed. They are now the right-wing opposition and the Gaullists aren't.